So we basically had like 20 knots of wind, 30 knots of wind actually, on anchor here, and we actually dragged. It refused, it refused to dig yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. We've been going well with the CQR, just, it just never digs in. We've been relying on a lot of chain. We've dragged every now and then, but like it it's really has done us well, but that's mainly because we've thrown out 50 meters of chain in like a five minute anchorage. It's just been a bit of a pain in the ass. I actually don't know where the anchor is. So we've got so much chain out. We're probably sitting on top of it somewhere, but... Guess what? Is it right there? It's dug in. Oh, is it? <laughs> is it really? Yeah. We dragged for a while. Did we? All right, we're off. Yep. So we just left Porto Palo? Yeah, and we're literally just going around the corner to the other side of Porto Palo. <laughs> Yeah. Jackson. Yeah, you had a good run on the beach, could swim. So one of the big reasons why we needed a new anchor is because we struggle to set ours even in some of the most simple terrains prime example just then so it's all sand and yet we cannot get it to dig in it's actually held us really well in some really hectic situations once it's set it's wicked it's perfect just pulled into this anchorage and we've just tried three times we can't get it to dig in so ryan's cracked the shit <laughs> i was going to put it in tomorrow and do like a cool video but we're putting it on now So we just pulled up and two guys have been walking out of here. We're running out of here like really frazzled. I think we caught them in the air. Yeah. One of the dangers of walking around places like this little private island is a lot of people like to go behind secret little places and do dirty things to each other. And then yachties like us, they least expect showing up. Scare the crap out of them. We've seen this too many times that we just like 100% know that was just banging. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look like deer in headlights, so it's pretty obvious. Had Jackson running around free. But he had ticks on but him. And look at his bum, we've had to clip off half his fur because he had bloody prickles thorns. everywhere. So, unfortunately for Jackson, he's stuck on a leash, even though we're on this big, beautiful, deserted island. But we keep Jackson's flea and tick and worm and everything treatment up to date, so we don't have to worry about him with ticks, but unfortunately that means he brings them home to us as well, which isn't very nice. Buddy. I think the others are getting sick of us. They're leaving. They're going to uh, where are they going? Albania? Okay. We're going the opposite direction. We're heading to Sardinia okay. and Spain. Sadly. It's time to say goodbye. Buongiorno. <laughs> it lasted about 30 seconds. No, we couldn't do three four just three times. At least five minutes.
So here we go, rescue a football. <laughs> We're just passing this beautiful boat here. I don't know who this is, but um, <laughs> it looks friggin' awesome. Look at that solar arch on the back there. So we found the owner of the ball. Ah, oh, good work, Steve. So basically, you know what? I just want to just want to say that uh, we're looking at the two heroes right here. What? Why, why are you all laughing? Yeah. They just rescued a uh, bloody yeah. football. It's all right, man. No, you know amazing. what? Did he buy you a beer? Yeah, che cheers to us. Yeah, cheers to us. Did not even buy you a beer? He didn't come in the bloody water to get it. I had to get yeah. out <laughs> You walk to him. So these guys are staying for another night, so it's not like goodbyes yet. Well, taxi. So long, so long, farewell, a fee to say goodbye. No, no, they're staying another night. See you guys. See you later. See you guys. See you later. All right, see you guys. See you later. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, look, Brittany, Brittany wants to, she's hungry. I'm like Jackson. Let's go. Yeah, see you guys. <laughs> All right. Over quickly for a run. Yeah. Go, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Over this way. Jackson, this way. it off. Come here. Come here. What it looks like? Oh, mate. Oh my god, Jackson. You've got them everywhere. Come on, mate. This is why... Oh, Jackson. Now I'm going to spend the next three or four hours over dinner pulling out a thousand prickles from Jackson's bloody fur. That's enough. Let's go. Jackson, come on. I don't think the water's gonna get them off. Come on in, buddy. Good boy, good boy. You just gave dad a big, massive job for tonight now, didn't you? Is that right? Oh my God, look at them all in your head, dude. No, no, no. No, come here, come here. He's got a thousand prickles all over his fur. Oh, Jackson. No. Oh, shit, there's hundreds. Jackson, look. Get them all over your face, buddy. Yeah, no. I'm not happy with you, buddy. I'm not happy at all. <laughs> I'm actually pissed. Look at the dog hair floating. Oh shit. It's going into our food. I've done the front half of Jackson. I've still got his towel to do. I'm going to need your help with that one. See you, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We're losing some speed with the motor down, so he's jumped in to bring the motor up. He looks pretty satisfied with himself. Oh. You look like you're about to sink the tender. What are you doing? Sit back! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we must be going quick. How oh, fast are we going? <laughs> Shit. Okay, yeah. I'm not turning around to get you to follow it. This is Operation Man Overboard. What is it? Blue. Oh, shit.
Alright. I'm not coming back to get you, so you gotta swim quick. It's a bit eerie being out here in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, we're 120, 30 meters deep. Ah, don't say that! Uh -huh. What? It's just touched my foot! <laughs> this is heavy. It's alright, Jackson, she's okay. Oh shit, it's all breaking up. Real full balloon, eh? Alright, back to it. <laughs> We have Coast Guard coming directly for yeah, us. This is as good as it. They could just be coming by to check us out. It's scary. It's like when you get pulled over by the cops and you suddenly feel like you're breaking the law. Yeah. And you have like five kilos of cocaine down in your basement <laughs> or something shoved up your butt. Just as we said that, I can see dolphins off in the distance. Move your head. I was trying to play it cool and must have worked because now they're taking off. Yeah, I want to go see the dolphins, but I don't want to make any sudden movements. <laughs> We're going to risk it. We're going to go over to the dolphins. It looks like there's hundreds of them. Oh, look at them all over there. There are hundreds of dolphins around us. And they're all jumping and playing. They're all coming over now. Do you see them? They're over there. Swim, baby, swim. <laughs> doing this for like an hour just jumping in and swimming with them oh that's cool just taking turns now britney has gone back in again yeah i'm gonna reverse back towards her again now so she doesn't get scared there's so many oh this is really cool she's gonna get some good shots that was probably one of the most amazing things that has ever happened to me in my entire life and it's so funny because when we went to mexico when i was like 13 years old mom said what's the one thing you want to do and i said i wanted to swim with dolphins and then she researched it and then a lot of the information came up about oh about how inhumane swimming with dolphins is the way they're held in captivity and how a lot of them especially you know certain countries are mistreated and she said i want you to make the decision but i said well i i, I can't do that i don't want to support that so that was when i was 13 years old it took me a while but i finally swam with dolphins yeah. oh no you gotta get squashed by the thingy quick 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 